Hi there, folks, and welcome to Tri-State from the Stretch. I'm your host, Andy Burdick, and with us, as always, is Jason Ruggiero. Good to be here. So today we're going to be talking about the all-star festivities that are already underway, and right now the, the Home Run Derby's taking place, Robinson Cano's up, and we're going to be talking about uh, our favorite part of the all-star festivities. So, Jason, let's uh, let's start with you. What is your favorite part of the All-Star festivities? Well, you know, I like watching the players interact with each other. You know, obviously players from other teams who don't I don't usually get to see interact with one another. Um, even though during a game, you know, you'll see guys talking when they're at first or second or whatever, the atmosphere is so much different during the All-Star game. And... Um, and to that point, I like to watch the guys who aren't in the home run derby while the home run derby's going on. Yeah, like uh, tonight, David Ortiz was watching Ioannis Cespedes uh, in in his uh, first round at bats, and Cespedes was just mashing balls into the third deck, and and Ortiz was clapping and laughing, and you know he thought it was great, and it's completely different than what you would see if, you know. Cespedes was doing that against the Red Sox during the the regular season. Right, Ortiz would be more angry at that point and trying to get ready to mash his own ball into the upper deck. Yeah. So, what about you, Andy? What's your favorite part of the All Star festivities? Uh, well, I think my favorite part has to be how Major League Baseball is attempting to make the the All Star Game and the Home Run Derby more fan friendly. They're they're trying to make it more accessible not just to the the fans in the the stadium you know and obviously they have the outfield full of kids running around trying not to get right. hit with home, with the balls that don't make it out of the yard but um you know outside of the stadium as well to people who who aren't there you know they're doing lots of stuff on twitter uh you know the the pirates had mark melanson take over their twitter account for um the home run derby tonight so you can tweet um you know with with hashtags and 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 talk to Melanson and he'll be answering questions. Um, you know, kind of like you said, you see the players there and they're all a little more loose than they typically would be during the season. You know, right. everybody's, everybody's off. The pressures of the, the season are kind of forgotten for a little bit and you get to see players um, act like normal human beings, you know, instead of those, those robots that are, you know, they, you think of it during 162 game season, they almost seem like they're just programmed to play baseball and that's it. Right. Uh, so, you know, it, it's it's good to see them. You know, and, and the other thing I really like to see, obviously, is you get to see your team's favorite players. And for the Pirates, they had uh, five that were named to the All-Star yeah. game this year. What a year um, for the Pirates. Yeah, good good first half of the season so far. Um, you know, obviously, Jeff Locke's not participating because of his back. But guess who got named in his place instead? Your boy, Mr. Middle Relief. That's right. We got some relief pitchers represented in there. And it was funny after we talked about that, uh, you know, when they, they announced the uh, the American League voting for the last uh, roster spot, it was all middle relievers. Yeah. And then 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 Jeff Locke, you know, can't participate and there. All of a sudden there's Mark Melanson. So now now I feel like there is an appropriate amount of of relief pitching love in the all-star Good. game. I'm glad that they have satisfied you. <laughs> and that all your uneasiness has been put put to rest. I feel like they've constructed the best roster that they can now that Mark Melanson is on that roster. <laughs> that, that's all it took. That's that's what they needed. They needed Mark Melanson to be on that roster. Um, well, the home run derby is taking place. David Wright just uh, came up for his first round at bats, nope. representing the the New York Mets at City Field. Um, so if you get a chance uh, tonight, tune in and see what's going on. We'll be recording uh, our regular podcast coming up later on this week, so keep your ears to the ground. And we look forward to talking to you then.